That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. This painting looks suspicious. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch. There's another switch. I should keep looking. One last switch. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. 
What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. No. London is doomed. The East End, Whitechapel, the West End. So many districts gone, and soon the whole country will follow. This city has been rotten to the core for so long. If it wasn't this plague, it would have been wiped out by another catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this, through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation and the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes, but he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. 
For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time? You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. Who cares? We are vampires. We are death. No, Jonathan. I won't bring another disaster into this world. I can't lose you, Elizabeth. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I once saved from a scowl in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man anymore. I've learned so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell, my love. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, the price paid most dear. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Prey to lust and desire, slave to the everlasting thirst. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed.